If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Hi guys, welcome to Life with Gaz and it's that time of year I'm going to do a 2019 roundup. Now this is going to be of all the fish that I've managed to catch off of the coast this year and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. But more importantly I want to say a big thanks to everyone who subscribed. I've got 630 subscribers at this point and that's really appreciate the support from you guys. Now we're going to crack on and go and see what fish have turned up on my rods this year. So first of all today let's start off by having a look at some of the small shark species you find off of the coast around here and the first species I'm going to bring in for you today is one which people often hate. Now these guys their skin has been used in the past to sand boats down and of course this is the lesser spotted dogfish otherwise known as a cat shark as well. Now these guys weren't fussy they're scavengers they will pick up almost any bait and you can get plagued with these guys but unfortunately this has given them a bad name now that being said I didn't go out trying to intentionally fish for them and I only had 12 all year so they weren't that much of a nuisance to me now the second species today is another one of the shark family now this one was only a baby in fact on the coast I've only ever caught very very small members of this species. Now this is a small tope and all the tope which I seem to catch are pups and they all still have the umbilical scar uh, line just on them so one of the ways you know they're youngsters. Now these guys are voracious little hungry eaters and often you'll pick up a baby tope which can be more than a couple of weeks old and it's already got a hook hole in it uh, before you've managed to catch it so they're not too difficult to catch having that being said you don't get huge runs of these guys and I only had six this year Now the next fish out today is the third member of the sharks family which I managed to catch and they're actually my favourite as well. I love fishing for these guys but strangely enough I actually never got round to targeting these guys and the only couple which I caught, which I had two in total, ended up just being uh, random ones that I caught whilst fishing for other fish like bass. Now like I said I've caught two of these guys and smooth hound are a fantastic fish to catch Next year I'm definitely going to go out to a few marks I know smooth and frequent and have a go for them. Now the biggest one which I caught which is this one here was only 75 centimeters and weighed in at £2.11. Next year hopefully I'm going to put a smooth hound up which looks a lot bigger than this. Now the fourth fish on the list today and the fourth species is the dabs. Now dabs are very easy to catch, you can catch them in quite large numbers but they've only got small mouths which is why I think I've only caught 10 of them this year and that's probably because I keep my hook sizes a little bit too big for them. But these fish if you do catch one big enough to eat are fantastic eating fish but I wouldn't bother taking one unless it is up around a sort of 30, 35 centimeter mark, which is an absolute monster for round here.
Today with flatfish, this is species number five. Now, this species you often find in estuaries and lots of people go up in estuaries to go and target them, but I don't really go out and target this species too often. Most of the time, if I catch them, it's again when I'm out fishing for other types of fish. Now, this species was a flounder and I've actually had seven of them this year, uh, ranging in size up to a fairly decent one, which was nice and thick, weighed in at one pound one ounce and was 35 centimeters. Now, typical of this uh, species, the bigger ones I've always caught have always been in the winter, and this one was caught in November. And for species number six, we've got one of the most delicious flatfish. In fact, it's a toss up for me between this species and the next species of flatfish as to which one I actually prefer to catch and eat. Now, this fish has got a very small mouth and often he use very small hooks to catch them. Although I did have one at 34 centimeters, 14.1 ounces, that managed to take a 4-0 hook fair and square in the mouth. And this fish is a Dover sole. Now these guys, I find, are most often caught for me just as the sun is going down at any stage of the tide. This seems to be a productive time for them. And for species number seven, this was again another flatfish. Now, I love catching these guys, I love eating these guys just as much as Dover sole. And just like the Dover sole, I also got a PB with this species as well. In fact, I got two fish which were very similar in size. I got one at 36 centimeters, it weighed in at 15 ounces, and I got one at 33 centimeters later in the season, therefore a bit heavier which weighed in at 15.1 ounce, uh, 7 ounces. Hopefully I will break the pound mark on these guys at, one, at some point, but to get two fish which were both uh, in their own rights of PB, then that's always going to be a bonus. And this was a place and I had nine of them in total this year. Now moving away from the flatfish, we'll move on to some of the small species of fish and this venomous little guy is one that everyone hates to catch and that is the weaver. Now there are two different species of weaver but we get the lesser weaver, the small species around here. Now funny enough I was actually stung by two of them and it does hurt but I was given a quite a good tip of squeeze it until it bleeds and it doesn't hurt for quite as long and that did work. Now the weaver I did catch in this video, I caught whilst float fishing. The only fish I caught float fishing, in fact the only time I actually did it this year, and that's in desperation of about six weeks where the fishing just dried up entirely over the summer. And species number nine, another bottom feeding fish. And this is one which seems to replace the weaver from the summer and you catch in the winter is the rocklin. Now there are a lot of different species of rocklin and there's some which I'd love to go out and catch like the free bearded rocklin, they look amazing, but we don't get them around here. The only ones I've seen are the five bearded rocklin and they look like a little catfish. You've got one little barbel on the bottom and four up on the top. Now this little guy was actually a PB and I caught 14 of them in total but this one stood out because he was 27 centimetres and weighed in at 5.6 ounces.
And for species number 10, possibly the most common fish caught by any of the anglers around this part of the coast. I've had 67 of them this year, just on that species alone. They've been 34 centimetres, 11.9 ounces for the best. And this is the humble whiting. Now they are actually quite a good eating fish and they're a great fish if you're taking kids out trying to teach them how to fish and you want to turn over a fish fairly quickly when the whites in are in they're a fantastic fish for youngsters to learn on and for this reason I don't hate catching them but all that being said they're not a cod and when the white in are about secretly I'm always hoping the cod follow them now talking about cod these are a fish, they're great eating fish, everyone loves catching them. Unfortunately, I've not done too well on them. In fact, I've only had 10 all season, with the biggest being at 40 centimetres, weighing in at 1 pound 10 ounces. But having said that, I have caught quite a few in the summer. In fact, in August, I had three just in that month alone, which is very unusual for me fishing in this area. But just like I always, with cod, if you look for rough seas, you generally find them. But this doesn't always mean that you're going to catch the things. And for species number 12 this year, we've got the bass. Now the biggest one I had was one pound 10 ounces. It weighed in at 44 centimeters. And I caught eight of these guys this year, which isn't particularly a lot. Uh, last year and the year before, sorry, I managed to catch seven in one session. And I had quite a few sessions where I caught multiples. This year, I only managed to catch one in each session. But funny enough, every bass I caught right up until the last one was a little bit bigger than the last uh, than the one previous and the last one was the smallest and it was a tiny little schoolie now having said that these are fantastic fish and I'll definitely be out chasing them next year Now throughout 2019 I've managed to catch 13 species and I've managed to actually put on the deck 156 fish which for me I'm quite happy with for my first season filming for YouTube. Now the last fish I'm coming on to today species number 13 I only caught two of these guys and this last fish is the most memorable one of the season for me because not only was this the biggest it was one of the fish which I actually struggled to catch. Now this was a 52 centimetre across the wings four and back ray weighing in at six pound 14 ounces. It is a PB for me and I was absolutely chuffed to bits to be able to pull this one up onto the sands at a low water out at Chatsworth Avenue out at Fleetwood. And this is, I think, the only ray species that we actually get off of this bit of coastline. I've not really heard of anyone else catching any other species. You know, the odd whisper of a blonde ray very, very occasionally. But the four and back ray, which is the most common one, I think, found around the UK, is the one which we get off of our coast. There she is, just coming up out of the surf. And there's that ray, which... Believe me, I know I've said it once already, I definitely enjoyed catching. Now hopefully next year I'm going to get a chance to get out and I'll actually target this species a little bit better than I have been. And hopefully you guys are going to stick around 
and see how I do in 2019 but for now unfortunately that's the last fish on this video well guys I hope you enjoyed seeing what fish I've managed to pull up this year but fingers crossed 2020 is going to be a good year for me I'm going to try and get out to some different locations I'm going to try and target some species which I don't get a chance to target when I'm actually here in Blackpool and just like a few of the suggestions I'm also going to give a little go and I might do one or two videos fishing on fresh water as well but for now if you've liked these videos make sure you hit the subscribe button down here check out my latest fishing video over here and of course as always my playlist up top <laughs>